Hello, Sergeant Devil Dog here, and welcome to episode 37 on my series on construction simulators. In this episode, we're looking for a new contract as we finished our hotel in the last episode, 36. Radio, so we'll bring up our jobs, we'll go on the contracts, we're doing our tourism missions, we've done the boardwalk, the bridge, development area, we've just finished the hotel, so the last job we've got is the Ferris wheel. So we'll go in and we'll accept the Ferris wheel job. And now that we've accepted the job, the first thing we have to do is a meeting. So we'll back out and we'll run over and we'll jump in our truck and actually head down to the meeting. The meeting's down on the boardwalk. So we'll just head over here, jump in our truck and we'll head off up over our new bridge. Change the camera view here. Just go straight ahead. And what I'll do is I'll cut the video here and when we get closer to our meeting site, I'll come back to you. Alright, we're just pulling up to the boardwalk now. There's our tourist officer just standing there. So we'll just park over here and we'll jump out of our ute. We'll run over and we'll have a talk to her and see what she's got to say about this Ferris wheel job. Now that the tourist resort has finally been implemented after years of planning, our next step should be to do something for families and young people too. Nothing is more exciting and entertaining than a trip to the pier. <laughs> The city didn't want to designate the entire beach for recreational activities, but I was able to win them over for a particularly promising attraction in a certain area of the beach. The plan is to erect a ferris wheel near the water at the foot of the pier. <laughs> Good luck! Right here, it looks like we're going to build a first wheel here on the beach. So the first thing we have to do is excavate a site. We've got a nice yellow box marked here on the ground. So what we need to do is go into our company vehicles. And as for all excavation jobs, I'm going to grab our dump truck. So we've got somewhere to put our soil in. So we'll fast travel our dump truck, change the camera view. I'll drive this back down to the beach. So we'll head off here over our bridge and I'll actually cut the footage again so you're not watching me drive all the way down to the beach and I'll come back to you when we get closer to the job site. Right, we're pulling up to the job site. So I'll swing out wide here. All right, and what we'll do is we'll park this over near the yellow box about halfway down and roughly angle it so we can load it using our excavator. Just roughly angle it where we want to. Change the camera view. Yeah, that looks about right, so we'll jump out. Now the next thing we need to do is actually grab our excavator. So we'll go back in the company vehicles. We'll go to our excavator and we'll hold the X button down, fast travel to our excavator. This one will actually fast travel to the job site because we can't actually drive this down there. I'll change the camera angle so we can look out the front window and we'll tram over to our yellow box where we're going to start digging. It's just straight across the boardwalk here and we'll start at the far end of the pit and we'll just dig back towards the boardwalk not too sure how deep we've got to dig this trench but it looks like it's going to be the footings for the ferris wheel so we're just trying to line up down the center of the job we're using our big excavator to try to make the job a bit quicker and we'll have a long reach so we'll just stop roughly level with the truck we'll reach out as far as we can and they'll let us know how far down the job we've got to go just as long as we can reach past the end of the yellow line we can start digging so we'll just drop the bucket in and dig one complete bucket load out right out we'll just dump this in our truck just move the truck a little bit away Right, we'll head across and dig our next bucket out. As you can see, it's not digging fairly too deep. So your footings mustn't have to be that deep into the ground. Right. Seems like it only has to be one bucket deep. 
Alright, we're just digging from yellow line to yellow line. Right. As you can see, it's not filling up the bucket much, put the oversized bucket. So we don't have to dig down two buckets deep, it's only just the one scraping the dirt off the top. I hope we don't even get a full bucket. We'll dig this centre bit out. Alright. Scoop a little bit more. Alright, so that looks about as deep as the trench is gonna, gonna go. Alright. Cut along this right hand side. As you can see, you've got your yellow, yellow line going around your speedo. This is telling you how much material you've got in your bucket. So I haven't actually grabbed a full bucket yet, so it's a good sign. Let's take one more bucket out, and we'll tram back a tiny bit. Oh yeah, we're just about at the tracks. Tip that one out. Scoop out that little centre bit. Oh, that didn't take much dirt. Empty that one out. Right, now we can move back a tiny bit. Once we roughly get in position, I'll move that truck. There we go. Yep, that's roughly the right length. Up a little bit. All right, we'll jump out. We'll take advantage of this by selling actually the soil in the truck. You go in your man, go to sell soil, and now we'll move the truck back to the other end for the job site. So hopefully when we position the truck this time, it'll be the last time we have to move this dump truck to dig out the rest of the pit. So we'll swing out about 45 degrees from the pit. Oh, right, we'll run back around. Climb back in our excavator and keep digging the trench. Right, let's try to cut along that edge. Rightio, I'll just cut the video there so you don't have to watch me dig the whole trench out. Got to, there we go, we've just hit 100% as the yellow boxes have disappeared. Now it's actually asking us to move our excavator and our truck outside the building zone, which is a blue designated area on the map, on the ground there. Just throw an extra couple of buckets of dirt in the truck here, so we can make a bit of extra money. Don't be too concerned about digging too much dirt out of the ground because when you actually move out of the blue designated area it'll automatically fill in whatever dirt's needed if you've taken too much so I'll just fill up this truck a bit so we can get a full load when we sell it now that should be about enough we'll just reverse out of the zone so we're outside that blue box then I'll jump out of the excavator and run over and jump in the truck Sell the dirt in the truck quickly. I hold up the man, sell. There we go, I'll jump out. Now what I'll do is I'll actually return both of these back to the workshop so they get refueled and repaired. Go into the company, vehicles, highlight the excavator, hold the triangle button down, return to the store, and I'll do the same with the dump truck. All right, I'll return it back to the store. We'll take this truck out of the store and I'll take a trailer out of the store. So I think the next thing we've got to do is actually go and get some material. Right now it's asking us to go get some material. So what we'll do is we'll fast travel to our truck. Bring up our vehicle fleet again. Highlight the truck we want to jump in. Right now, so we've got the truck here. We need to hook a trailer up to it. So we'll just reverse under this trailer and hit the X button. We'll lock the trailer in place. Right now we'll bring up our map and find our building supply store. It's right up here. So what we'll do is we'll just drive out the front gate here over on this side street and then we'll cut back around and head up to the building supply store. So what I'll do is I'll cut the video here and I'll come back to you when we get to the building supply store.
So uh, we're just pulling up to the building supply store now. So what we do when we get here, we just drive forward and park in that yellow loading zone marked on the pavement just there. We'll just pull up here. We'll jump out and we'll run around to the main office. Just by holding the triangle button down, you go into the office. Now, we'll scroll through the products here. The ones with the red circle highlighted on them is the products you need to buy. And the quantity of the product you need to buy is the number inside the red circle. Once it turns green, it means you've bought enough of that product. So right now, we'll buy everything, make sure we've got everything we need. Then we'll go to checkout. We'll click on the auto load. So when we buy the material, it automatically loads on the back of the truck. We'll just run over here and have a quick look. And there we go, all the products are nicely loaded on the back of the truck. Nothing stubble stacks should make it easy to unload. So we'll climb back in our truck and we'll head off back down to the beach. So I'll change the camera angle. We'll just drive out here, turn to our right and head down to the first set of traffic lights and turn right down to the beach. So what I'll do is I'll cut the video here and I'll catch up with you when we get back down to the boardwalk. Alright, we're coming up to the boardwalk, so I'll change the camera angle of the truck here in a sec. We'll just swing around here. We won't actually park on the job site, we'll just park on the edge of the dirt. Just off the edge of the boardwalk here. Just line up. Try to go around the end of that fence so we don't actually get caught up on that fence. So we'll just stop here with the nose of the truck out on the boardwalk. Oh, we might just move this car out of the way so we can get the truck out. We need to get some more material. So we'll just pull that forward a bit. Park in this loading zone here run around and over in this far corner they want us to put up our crane so we'll come over to the crane area hold the triangle button down if you want to put your crane up hold the X button down and there's our tower crane so we'll climb up in it we're using the biggest tower crane you can actually get from your store we actually already bought this one but if you need to hire it make sure you hire the biggest crane because we need the height to build this ferris wheel and now we need to unload the products so what we need to do is unload our two pallets of concrete bags first. So that's these two little white bags. So we'll line up our white circle over the blue circle on the pallet. Hit the X button to pick up. And we'll just swing it back over. As you can see out of these blue items, there's two highlighted a brighter blue. This is where we need to put the product down that's on your crane hook. Now we'll just run that white circle along the ground over top of our next product we need to lift up. All right, when your blue circle on top of the product goes green, hit the X button and your hook should hook up. All right, hit the X, All right, lift her up. We'll swing back across. All right, wait for it to stop swinging, lower it down, hit the X. Now what we'll do is we'll grab these three pallets, green pallets, off first. Alright, so we'll grab that one. It's pretty much pretty easy because you just bring them straight back in. So once you hook up, you've only got to turn slightly and just boom back in. Alright, we'll lift her up, drop it in the green spot, just boom back out. Swing across and we'll grab this other green pallet. Right, automatically hook up to the blue circle. Since the crane rope's so long, the hook actually swings back and forth. So if you time it right, you can actually automatically hook up the cables as it's swinging past. Right, we'll drop that one off. Swing back across and grab this last green box. And then we need to grab that stack of timber. All right, swing back. All right, hook it up. Pull back in. All 
Alright, uh, lower it back down. That's the blue square goes green. We can hit the X to drop off. Now our last item is the stack of timber. There we go. Pick it up. We'll swing across. Alright, we'll lower it straight down. Try not to make it swing too much. Oh, lift it up, swing it back, drop. Now it's actually asking us to unpack the material, so we'll move the hook out of the way, we'll jump out of our tower crane, we'll run around to the first stack of material, and simply by holding our triangle button down, we'll unstack it, or we'll unpack it. Right, looks like it's put the footings in, and the centre trench. There we go, so now it's asking us to unpack all the Rio, and the timber. So we'll go over and we'll hold our triangle button down again and we'll re-pack pack all the Rio. Right out, it's put some form work down, we have to concrete now. So what we'll need to do is go grab our concrete truck. So we'll go to company, go to vehicles, and we'll grab our little blue concrete mixer which has already got a pump in it. So we'll fast travel to that. Now what we'll do is we'll drive off, and as I'm driving off, once I get on the bridge, I'll cut the footage again. I'll come back to you when we get down to the boardwalk, so you don't have to watch me drive all the way down to the job site. Right, we're coming up to the boardwalk. What I'll do is I'll change the camera angle, so we can actually see the truck from the outside. We'll just nose up to the very front of these formwork just here. Not too close. Hopefully we've got long enough reach to reach most of the way along the job site. So we'll change the camera angle so we can see outside the truck. We'll put the legs up. And now we'll lift our boom up to our pump. So we'll lift it up. And we'll swing around to our right. So we'll swing around. I'm just trying to lower the nozzle of this pump down as we go around so we can start at the very end of the slab lower it down a little bit as you can see we've got a green circle on the slab that's where the concrete's going to come out of the concrete pump so that should roughly be close enough to actually start filling in this end of the slab so what we'll do we've still got concrete in the pump so we'll just start up the discharge of the mixer and then the pump and we'll let the concrete fall in once your green circle goes white that's showing you that you've filled in the slab enough and you need to move the nozzle of your pump around fill in some more of the slab so what we'll do is we'll start the pump back up let the concrete flow into the slab just move it back and forth now we'll work our way along the slab and then we'll come back down the right hand side once we've finished it's filling up fairly quick and we've got some steps here so we'll just keep filling in the steps it takes a fair bit of concrete to fill up these steps they're fairly deep so we'll just fill up this back corner we're just trying to put as much concrete in the slab as we can if we're trying to reach 100 percent so it's running along nicely come back and do the bottom step Booming along as we go, lifting up a little bit, trying to get it to splash out. As we go, trying to get it to run to the end. Not quite reaching the end. That's full. Go to the second step, bottom step. Now we'll go up to the top. Uh, this step seems to be taking a fair bit. What I'll actually do is cut the video and I'll come back to you when we get near the end of the concrete in this area. There we go. Come back here and finish this little bit. Can't kind of reach all the way to the end, so we'll have to move the pump to finish off concreting. So what I'll do is I'll stop the pump here and we'll go over to the right hand side and we'll work our way back down the slab. And I'm just about maximum reach, so we'll stop the pump across and then we'll start the pump straight back up right we're working our way back down towards the pump as you can see you can only 
to where we're parked, we can only reach 97%. So what I'll do is I'll stop the video here and we'll have to move the truck to finish the job off. So we'll just keep working, radio. I've just moved the truck and now we're coming from the far end back. So we'll start the discharge up, start the pump up. We'll fill in both of these ends, finish off filling in the steps. I've had to grab another load of concrete. We've run out of concrete. Right, there we go. We've got our right hand side full. So we'll move our boom across now to the left hand side and just finish off that top corner. Move our circle across till it's green. Start our discharge up. And there we go. We've finished our concreting. So it's asking us to move our concrete truck off site. Right, so what I'll do is I'll pack up the concrete pump. I'll put the legs up and I'll jump out of the concrete truck and what I'll do I'll put this back in storage so I'll go to vehicle fleet we'll go to the truck and we'll put hold the triangle button down to put in storage so it gets refueled now what it's actually asking us to do is unload the last four boxes off the back of our truck so I'll run over and I'll climb in our tower crane we'll just boom over to the back of the truck We'll grab these last four purple boxes, just line our white circle up with the blue circle on top of the box, lower the hook down, pick up the first box, just come straight back. Okay. Need your boom to the right a tiny bit. We'll boom down, drop the right block, then we'll head back and grab the next one. Right over. Pick up the second one. These are actually pipes for the legs to the Ferris wheel. There we go. So we'll drop this one down. Right. You don't have to lift your hook up too high. You've only just got to get it above the height of the package on the back of the flatbed. Alright, so we'll swing across, hook up as the hook still swings past. Pull back across. And that's box three. We got one to go. Lower it down, and we'll grab our fourth one off. All right, as it swings past, hit the X button, hook the cables up, and pull back along. Swing back over. Start lowering it down as we come in. Right. Drop it in as it goes green, hit the X button. We'll move our hook just up a tiny bit. Now it's asking us to unpack the crates. So we'll run over and we'll hold our triangle button down again to unpack these purple crates. Right out, and there's our legs to our Ferris wheel. So we'll run back, climb in our crane. What I'm going to do is start with the ones on the left hand side first. So we'll line up our white circle, it goes green, hit the X button. As you pick the pipe up, it actually angles down a bit. So we'll go past the first pipe. Don't worry if the hook goes red, it's just saying it's in the way of the pipe when it's in position. So we'll just run back across and grab the second pipe. What I'll do is I'll put this on top of the first pipe on the far left hand side. I don't want to put the pipes closest to you in first because they'll get in the way, the ones in the back. So we'll swing across, do this second pipe on the left hand side, right out. As it swings past and the blue area goes green, I've just hit the X and it automatically places, puts it in the place. Now I'll grab this first leg on the left hand front. So we'll drop the hook down. Hit the X button, hook up the cables, lift it off the ground and just swing across. Oop, swinging a bit too fast. Once it goes green, hit the X button. I won't put the second one on yet until I actually position the back ones first. So we'll go all across, maybe across to the right and do the same. We'll start with the back ones first and then come to the front ones. We'll pick the first pipe up. Swing past this first one on the right, go to the back one. Let's 
swing across as it swings around. Guys, grains hit the X. Right. Now we'll move forward. What it's actually asking us to do now is actually go get some more building supply material. So once we position the pipes, we'll do that. Radio. We'll pick our next piece of pipe up. And we'll swing right to the very back. Right. As it swings past, wait for it to swing forward a little bit. A bit more. Pull it in. Right, hit the X button. Same thing, we're actually got the hook in the way of the pipe when it's in position. Don't worry about that too much. Right, lower down and we'll do this front pipe first. I'll lower the hook down. Hit the X button. There we go. Pull back a tiny bit. Hit the X. Uh, that's in place. Now what we'll do is we'll come across and we'll do this left one first. So we'll lower down on the left pipe. Hit the X button to pick up. Lift it straight up. Swing across to our left a little bit and back. Uh, once it goes green, hit the X. I'm still swinging away. Now we'll come back and we'll pick up our final piece of pipe. Lower our hook down, blue circle goes green, hit X, just lift straight up and then boom away a little bit. Right. Moved across too far, right, pull back in towards the tower, hit the X button. Now it's actually asking us to go to the steel factory and actually get some metal girters. So what I'll do is I'll jump out of the cow crane and run over and jump in our truck. There you go. So the steel factory is over in the industrial estate, right over our far side of our job site. Turn our lights on because it's at night time. So we'll bring our map up. As you can see, it's a far building. So we'll just go straight out the street here, across the bridge and around. There you go. Pretty quick to get there, pretty easy to find. So what we'll do is we'll head off and I'll actually cut the video as we go out on the main street and I'll catch up here when we're about to pull into our factory and we'll see what we need to buy when we get there. Alright, we're pulling up to our factory now. So I'll just come around the back here, pull up into the loading zone. The last couple of times I've been here the product will not auto load, so you have to use your crane on your truck to load yourself once you buy the material. So we'll come in here and run around to the front office and we'll see what we've got to purchase. Hold the triangle button to go in. So we've got our Ferris wheel. Right, our first piece is our drive wheel, which we'll purchase by holding the X button in. The second piece is our framework, which we're not actually going to buy. And then we need to buy eight baskets. So we'll buy a couple of these. Right, can't buy any more. We don't have enough room. What we'll do is we'll exit out and we'll run around and see how everything's positioned on the ground. We'll go back and see if it auto loads. No, it's still saying we need two more pieces. Radio. So we'll run back around here and have a look where everything's positioned. Right, so we need to climb back in our truck and get our crane out. So put our legs down, go into crane mode. So we'll lift our crane out, and the first piece we need to do, grab is that big white drive wheel. So we'll load this on our truck. And then what we'll do, since we need eight baskets, we'll load a couple of these on the back of the truck as well. This will take a couple of loads to get them all across. To the job site so we'll lower the hook down we need to line that white circle up with the blue circle on top of the white sprocket there we go it's green hit the x button we'll lift it off the ground we'll swing around and try to put it as close to the front of the truck as we can get it there we go. need to move it back a tiny bit right. Right. hit the x button down the hook and now what we'll do is we'll try to grab a couple of these baskets 
because by the looks of it it'll take us two or three loads to move everything across. I'll try to grab the one right at the back, that's out of the way. Try to line up the white circle, well, no, hit the X button, swing across and drop it. Try to move it as for, far forward as we can, drop it down, hit the X button. We'll swing across and grab this far one on this side. We'll extend our boom further out and put it right at the back. There we go, we'll lift it up a bit high so it's not rubbing on our trailer. Drop this down. So now we'll go in to reset the crane. Change the camera angle on the truck. And we'll actually drive off. And we'll head back to the job site. Come on in, there's the crane legs back out. Put it back in. Change the camera angle. And what I'll do is I'll drive off and I'll cut the video. And I'll catch up here when we get back down to the boardwalk. And we'll unload all this products off the truck. Right, we're coming up to the boardwalk. It's a fair drive from the far side of the map across to here, so we'll change the camera angle. What we'll do is go right down the end. We'll just pull up on the edge of the sand where we did for our last load of material. Just cut across the end of the sand, around the end of that fence. I wish that fence wasn't there, it'd make it easier. Just pull up here and we'll run around and jump in our crane. What we'll do is we'll lift our sprocket up first, put it into place, and then we'll unload the rest of the baskets just off to the side of the job site. So we'll move our crane across and line up our white circle, the blue circle on top of our main sprocket. I we'll lower our hook down. Oh yeah. As it swings past, hopefully it'll go green. Yep. Pick this sprocket up. We need to place it in the centre of the four legs here. Right out. Swing it around a little bit. Need to pull it forward. Oh, swing it around. Now we just need to lower it down a little bit. Once it stops swinging. Once that blue circle goes green, hit the X button and fall into place. Now what we'll do is we'll quickly unload these two baskets. Then we'll have to go back to the shop it's actually telling us we need to buy some metal frames and we don't actually have them so that must be the other item that's in the shop we haven't purchased yet so I'll actually pull these off the job site put them here on the edge of the boardwalk around our car up over the fence just drop it down here I'll unhook we'll unload the last piece Hopefully we'll be able to get a couple more on the truck next time we actually come back. All right, we'll lift this one up, swing it back and place it next to this first one. All right, have to lift it up over it. No, we'll just place it here on the dirt. All right, unhook our hook, jump out of the tower crane. We'll run back and jump in the truck. As you can see, that fairly big pipe work we've got to grab. Uh, jump back in our truck and we'll head back off back out onto the main street and all the way back across so what I'll do is I'll cut the video again when we head out here on the main street and I'll catch up to you when we get back to the steel factory right, we're we'll coming back up to the steel factory I'll come in this way so we can line up between the baskets there we go Just line up in the loading zone the forward a tiny bit so I can get the legs out. We'll run around and we'll actually purchase the last of the material. Hold the triangle button in, go into the material. Alright, so we'll buy this framework and we'll buy the last of the baskets. Alright, we'll buy this. Radio. We now own everything, so we'll run out and we'll load all the products on the truck. Right, we'll climb back into our truck, so we've got our crane. We've got a couple of baskets hooked up on the side of our truck. So we've positioned our truck, so what we'll have to do is unload these couple of baskets first. 
So we'll have to move a bit of this material around so we can actually pick up that white pipe work first. We'll swing this right around. They're kind of in the way a bit. So swing this around and place this on the ground. Lower it, lower it down, boom it out a tiny bit, swing it around right a bit, drop it down. All I'll have to do is take all those three baskets off the top of the metal work and then I can place them back on once we've actually put it on the back of the truck. And so we'll just lift them up, extend the boom out a tiny bit and place them on the ground next to them. So, this is a little bit of mucking around, but unfortunately it's the way it's actually coming out of the shop. And right now we'll lower our boom down again, pick the next one up, just boom out a tiny bit. Oh, and we'll just swing around to our left, drop it down. Boom straight back in. As soon as we take this third one off the top of this pipework, a blue circle will appear on top of the pipework so we can lift it up. Swing around to the left and just place it straight on the ground. Right here. There's our blue circle we're looking for. So we'll pick this blue frame up. And load it on the back of the truck. We might actually have to pick up one of those two pods we've put on the back of the flatbed. So we can actually fit this piece on. Uh, it looks like it's going to be too long, so we'll just sit it roughly down here. We'll move that last basket, and then we'll have to reposition this mesh. There we go. Unhook the pipe. Extend our boom all the way back. Right, line our hook up. Just lift it up. Drop it on the ground next to the trailer. All right, now we can come back and we can move our pipe flat, flat on the back of the trailer and that way we can actually put some baskets on top. Right, Rehook up a cable, extend our boom out a tiny bit. Lower the cables down, drop it into place. Now we can actually pick up three baskets and put on top. So we'll start with this one. Uh, hook up the first one, start at the back, and work our way forward. Swing it across, extend it back as far as we can, drop it down, unhook, just boom in a tiny bit. Lower our hook down, hit X, pick up our next one, swing over the bed of the truck, and then try to boom all the way to the back. Now we can try to get four on top, but I don't think we will fit four. I'll right, just hit X. Now swing over this way and grab one of these ones. We need to grab that one at the front. That's actually caught under the wheels of the truck. Get this one out of the way. Uh, hit X, hook up. Swing around. I don't think we can sit it on this little at the front. No, so we'll have to lift it up, send our boom out. Place it down, put the X. I don't think we can fit one more on. We'll give it a go. Pick up our next one. Bring our boom in. Oh yeah, we might be able to fit this one on as well. That's good. Hit the X button. Radio. Now we'll pack up our crane, fold up our legs, change our camera angle, and we'll drive off. And I'll cut the video here, and I'll catch up here when we get back to the boardwalk, and we'll unload this truck. All right, we're coming up to the boardwalk, so we'll change our camera angle. We'll actually go down the end and swing our truck around and actually park our truck in the same position as we did for the last two loads. Swing out a bit wider. 
Oh, we just tap that basket, reverse back a little bit and swing around. I'm trying to leave enough room so we can actually unstack all these baskets and place them on the ground. We'll just run around our truck now and run over and jump in our tower crane. Right, first thing we'll do is unload all the baskets and place them on the ground next to these other ones. Uh, try to line up our white circle on top of the blue circle. Slew back in. Let's park. Drop this one next to the ute. Once we unload this truck, we've got six baskets. We actually need eight. Three, six, we've actually got seven baskets. So we're going to have to go all the way back, get one basket. So hook this one up. Oop. Need to lift it a little bit higher. Swing around. Drop it over the back here. Trying to do as little of movement as we can, as quick as we can. All right, we'll hook up. Just swing forward and drop it straight down. There you go. Two to go. All right, try to grab this front one. Over our hook down, it goes green. Next button, pull tram straight back in. This one straight down. Oop, unhook. And one basket to go. I need to boom our hook up. Lift up. Swing to our right. Over top of them. Let's swing around and just drop it straight to the ground. Right, now we can pick all our pipe work up. Actually place it on the blue designated area on the ground. Go hook up and lift up. Swing back around. Try to drop it on top of the blue marked area. Drop it down. Now it's actually asking us to unpack all that pipe work we've actually unloaded. What we do is run past that, we'll jump back in our truck and we'll go get the last two baskets. Right, we'll climb back in our truck, we'll head back off, I'll cut the video once we get out on the main street again and I'll catch up with you when we get back to the metal plant and we'll pick up our last two baskets we need so we've got all the material on site. Right, I'll just pull up just here beside these ones. Right, we'll put go in the crane mode. And I'll just grab these closest two. I'm just going to grab a spare one just in case. Don't be too worried if you grab a spare one because it will disappear if we don't need it. So I'll grab this back one first. And there we go. Boom back a bit, hook up, swing around. You will need to actually bring your semi-trailer to pick up these baskets. I have tried actually picking them up with a little yellow Mack truck and they won't actually fit on the truck. All right, we'll swing across and grab this one. All right, we'll boom straight back around. Put this one on the bed. All right, and we'll pack our crane up, put our legs up and we'll drive off and I'll cut the video here in a sec and catch up here when we get back to the boardwalk this means we've got all the material we need to finish the job on site right. what I'm going to do is swing around at the back here and actually park the truck in the same spot as we've been unloading the vehicle and then what we'll do is we'll run across and unpack that pipe work and hopefully we'll be able to put everything back together now so we'll just stop here run back around run around this gate just here 
As we run past the pipe, we'll hold our triangle button in to take the three straps off. So we'll just go over to the job. Hit triangle. Those three red straps should come off the pipe work. Ready go. Now what we'll do is we'll run over and climb back in our crane and we should be able to put everything in position. As you can see, one of the pipes has actually turned up on the ground. It's got a blue circle on it, so we need to lower our hook over top. So we'll lower our hook over until the blue circle goes green. Now you need to lift up as high as you can, right up to the top, and we need to swing this over our wheels on the centre of the crane. On the centre of our Ferris wheel, you can see a blue designated area. So you need to lift as high up as you can. If you've got a smaller crane, you won't get the height. Right, once it goes green, hit the X button. And we'll just sit here and watch this unfold. As it unfolds, it rolls over to the left, leaving the position open for you to drop the next piece into place. So we'll just lower our hook down, line up with the next piece on the ground. As you pick them up and put them into position, the next piece falls into place. Makes it nice and easy for you to line up. So I'll actually pick the next piece up, lift it up as high as we can. Now clear it off the ground. Pull it all the way up to the top and then boom to our left. Boom out and swing to our left. Once the blue area goes green, the X button, it'll drop into place and then it'll automatically join up. First piece swings over and then she'll swing out. As I'm dropping the hook to the ground, you can actually see like a rock on the ground. If you line up your circle with the rock on the ground, you'll line up your hook. What I've done is I've just cut out actually picking up a heap of the frameworks in the place. So you didn't have to sit me watching me actually sit there and load up eight or nine frames. Uh, we've only got a couple to go. So we'll just lift this one straight up. Drop this one into place. There we go. Dropped into place. We'll swing out, top swing in. Uh, bring the hook down. All right, there we go. It's joined up completely. So we don't need to do the last framework. It will make me disappear. Now it's actually asking us to put the eight carts in the position. So what we'll do is we'll unload the ones off the back of the truck first. So line up your white circle with a blue circle on top of your carts. Right, line up. When it goes green, we'll pick it up. Now what we've got to do is we've got to angle these baskets in between the metal pipes. So we'll lift up and pull forward, hit X and it drops into place. This is a little tricky because you've got to try to lift all the way to the centre and line it up in between the two pipes. So we'll drop our hook all the way down. Blue circle goes green, hit the X button, lift up. Once I put the second basket into place, I'll actually cut the video here so you don't have to watch me put all eight baskets in. I'll come back here when we've got one to go. I'm trying to line up in between the two metal pipes. All right, we need to lower it down a little bit. Right, hit the X button. I'll catch you when we've got one to go. Radio, we'll pick up this last basket. I've left this right to the very center at the top. So I've done four on the left hand side, four on the right hand side, or well, three on the left, four on the right. So now we're going to do the very center one. So it lift right up to maximum lift and then try to swing it over top of the pipe. So that's at maximum lift, so we'll roll it over drop it in the place. Now it's actually asking you to put two face plates 
on the outside of the Ferris wheel. So you don't actually have to go get these, they've automatically appeared on the ground. So what we'll do is we'll line up our white circle with the blue circle on the face plates. We'll drop our hook down. What we're going to do, we're going to do the far one or the ocean side one first. So we need to lift it up and swing to our left and then go around the ferris wheel and come in from the ocean side rather than lift it all the way up over the ferris wheel we'll just roughly get the right height then work around the outside of the ferris wheel past the end of it hopefully and then swing back around the far side there we go, there we go. the blue face plate goes green you just hit the X button and it will fall into place. All right. Now we'll need to bring our hook all the way up. Lift it up over the top of the ferris wheel. Back across and then we'll drop it all the way back down to the ground. We'll pick up the front face plate. So we've left the easiest one for last. Once we have done this, your ferris wheel should be complete. Takes a little bit to lower your cable all the way to the ground. Right out, there we go. We'll lift this one up and drop this one into place. Should be nice and easy, we've just got to lift up halfway. If you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button on your bottom left hand side of your screen. There we go, ferris wheel's all complete. We just need to pack everything up now. So we'll pack our crane up. Right. Now what we're going to do is remove the truck off site. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I've got just under 300 subscribers. I'm trying to get 500 by Christmas. So please feel free to subscribe to my channel and help my channel grow. Right, so we'll put these trucks in the storage. Now we need to clear the zone. So we've got to get outside that blue box and we'll just run over here on the boardwalk. And what will happen is there's our tourist minister down there. So we'll go down and talk to our tourist minister and see what she's got to say. And if she congratulates us on the job. I wouldn't have thought it possible that the city would approve the construction of a recreational attraction so quickly. Your company has certainly done an excellent job. To the great delight of the city and... It will definitely assign more tourism projects to you from now on. Now, we're extremely well positioned and can finally receive many visitors again throughout the year. Many thanks to you and your entire team for the outstanding work. Radio, right there we go. Our last job for the tourist minister actually completed. We've built the Ferris wheel. So now we'll be looking for some new jobs to do. We might just go back to our normal contracts to do a couple of jobs. So I hope you liked the video and I hope to catch you on the next one. Bye for now.